hello good morning dear students this is the avinash sir once again coming with the one another interesting point so guys today we are going to discuss about the joint sealant materials so let's start to the joint sealant materials how should be the your joint sealant materials they are used in construction to prevent fluids and other substances from passing through material surfaces joints or openings as its name suggests it is the joint sealant materials obviously we are going to seal any joint using this material so whenever you feel there is any gap or joint in our construction you can use the joint sealant material they can also prevent the passage of air sound dust so there may be chances of passing the air sound or dust in the construction from outside so in that case you have to use the joint sealant material and pack it so that there is no chance of coming the air sound and dust next point says that well as acting as a fire stopping component yeah it's important factor of the joint sealant material if you want to stop the fire from outside to inside or inside to outside you have to seal that gap or joint using joint sealant material so basic properties of the joint sealant material of a good joint sealant are it should have good bond with building material obviously if you want to seal the any gap or joint you should be have good or proper bond with the building material the three basic functions of a sealant are to fill a gap between two or more substrates now let's see what are that different joint sealant materials first one is the oleo resin resinous mastic oleo resin is a semi solid mixture of essential oil and resin so guys oleo resinous mastic made up from essential oil and resin mixture in the last you can see the word mastic what is mean by the mastic mastic means soft putty like material which applied with the help of gun these are formed using unsaturated oil and high level of calcium carbonate which provides the required suitable firmness so because of the using high level of calcium carbonate it gives the form firmness to oleo resinous mastic so this is whole about the oleo resinous mastic so let's jump to the another material which is used as a joint sealant so second material is the bitumen or rubber based sealant so as name suggested in this material obviously they are going to use the bitumen bitumen sealant that is used in varied applications like vertical expansion joints concrete joints crack bridging so where we are going to use the bitumen sealant where the vertical expansion joints it is very effectively you can use in the vertical joints as well as in the concrete joints or for crack bridging this sealant can be easily applied on the vertical surfaces and joints so it is specially made up from for vertical joint sealant also the bitumen sealant is on a huge demand in the market as it has the features like cold applied compound non gritty ready uses and easy to application because of the its property it is very easy to apply on the site so basically we prefer that material which is easy to apply which gives the high strength which gives the efficient work so bitumen is that material excellent adhesion flexible resistant against water vapors can withstand high degree of expansion vibration and contraction so guys these are the beneficial additive qualities of this bitumen based sealant and we should know the properties of that material before we are going to use it on site okay so this is all about the bitumen based sealant 
Now third one sealant is acrylic resin sealant. So let's see what seals the acrylic resin sealant. The material created from thermoplastic acrylic mixture. So from which material acrylic resin is made up of? Acrylic mixtures of thermoplastic. It is used where our construction has a high impact heat and UV resistance. So acrylic resin, resin sealant is heat resistance as well as ultraviolet resistance. It is outstanding when it comes to the durability. So it gives the maximum durability whenever you are going to use acrylic resin. Now let us see some grout materials. So grout is a dense fluid which is used to fill gaps. Again grout materials for which purpose we are going to use for filling the gaps. Grout is generally a mixture of water, cement and sand. So what are the different ingredients of the grout materials? First one is the water, second one is the cement and third one is the sand. Combine these three materials you will get the grout. It is employed in pressure grouting, embedded rebar in masonry walls, connecting sections of precast concrete, filling voids. Obviously as earlier I said that ki grout, grout materials we are going to use for filling the gaps. Sealing joints such as those between tiles. If you observe the gaps between tiles, that tiles gap will be filled by the grout materials. So let us see what are the different grout materials. First one is the cement grout. Basically this material widely used in constructions. Uh, cement grout is formed by mixture of cement powder with water. So this is very basic combination of cement powder and water. Setting and hardening are the important processes which affect the performance of cement grout. Yeah. This is very important point. If you are going to mix the water and cement powder, so cement has a setting property. If you mix the water, it gets start to the harden. So before getting hardening, you have to apply it on the void. Moreover, the presence of excessive voids would also affect the strength, stiffness and permeability of grout. If there is a uh, maximum voids, it they, that voids affect the permeability of grout. Second grout material is the cement sand grout. When the size of crack to be filled is somewhat large, then in along with the cement, we should also use the sand, and which gives the cement sand grout. That means what is the ingredient of cement sand grout? Cement, sand and water. These are the three ingredients of the cement sand grout. It is used at all the places where cement, ground, cement grout is used and crack width is large. Third grout material is cement sand grout with additives. In some case, special properties are expected from grout as per situation. Thus, to achieve these special additives added, added. sometimes what happens, we need the early setting of the cement sand grout. In that case, we add the external additives for setting out the cement earlier. So, it makes the cement sand grout with additives. The addition of grout will form the grout as per required properties are added to it. So this is about the cement sand grout with additives. Fourth grout material is polymer modified cement grout. This means the mix contains various latex admixture for better adhesion, workability, stain resistance and other positive characteristics. So 
so for getting the additional characteristics to the grout material we have to use the polymer in that so what are that additional properties strain resistance workability and adhesion a polymer modified cement based sand grout that produces hard dense joint that resist shrinking cracking and wear fifth material is epoxy grout no water is used no water is used in this mixing process so while making the epoxy grout there is no involvement of the water this grouts consist of epoxy resin silica fillers pigments and a hardener so what are the ingredients of epoxy grout epoxy resin silica fillers pigments and a hardener epoxy grouts are considerably less porous than cementitious grouts so in the comparison of cementitious grouts epoxy grouts are less porous epoxy grout is a good choice in place where acids and gases are present such as in kitchens if you observe your kitchen there are lots of acids and gases so in that condition we should use the epoxy grout epoxy grouts come in both unsanded and sanded forms so that means in the market you can get the epoxy grout with sand and without sand epoxy grout set up fairly fast that means setting time of the epoxy grout is fast and you use the epoxy grout you can earlier ready to use that material epoxy grouts are also much more expensive okay epoxy grout has a high cost so guys this is sufficient for today's lecture we will meet soon in the next lecture till that thank you thank you so much